What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Undertale. Last episode, well, we've been exploring this lab. It's very spoopy and a huge turn from the rest of the game, to be honest. There's something here. It feels warm and moist. I'm hearing dinging noises occasionally. Right there. I heard a dinging noise. I don't know what's good, you better bad. Is this some kind of like maze? Oh, here we go. Oh no. There's one on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you can read. Dang it. Click the green key. Oh, never mind. We did get this one. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's all smoky still. Something here. It feels like a tree ripe with delicious fruits. I'm in the shape of a man. It feels warm and moist. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to unfogify this room. Weird. This game just went super spoops fill, you guys. Alright, well, seems we've explored most of this area here now. I'll head to the right. To the right, to the right. That's back to the bedroom right here, so let's go to the right now. Oh boy. Tree number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. They will never be friends ever again. But to me, every time I try to work on it, I get really, really sweaty. <laughs> That's hilarious. Also, I get the feeling it's not going to end very well. I'm sure, it's going to be fine. Just switch on the wall. Press it. Yay! Now what? Oh, hello! I guess that'll clear up the other room too, so we're gonna have to walk back to that. Well, even though there's a chance to pseudo escape here, it's a spoopy two, four, five legged cat. Alright, just go. It's the Amalgamat? I, I don't know. Pet? It's too far away to pay. You just pet the air. Okay. Still pretty spoopy, not gonna lie. Just watching you intently. Could do this. Eat the hush puppy. Dawn magic is neutralized. Your HP is maxed out. Cool. It's contented. Oh, that was easy. You won! Well then, I might have skipped some there, but I don't know. I didn't expect that to end the fight, too. I guess a hush puppy ended up breaking out pretty nicely for me. Okay, I would now have to go this way and see what was in that room. This isn't too long of a walk. Ah, oh, it's so long. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Ah, oh, here we go. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Oh, no, it can be these too. Cool. Tree number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Oh, so that's why she stopped reading her fan mail. Okay, I saw that move. This refrigerator seems to contain samples of some kind. Tree number 20. This girl left me five messages today, four about everyone being angry, and about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Alright, I'm sure it's gonna end well. It's refrigerator, it's empty. Okay, that's spoopy. Tree number 21. I spend all the time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. It's refrigerator, it seems to contain samples of some kinds. It's refrigerator, it's empty. Okay, that scared me. Blip, blip, blip. It's so cold. Let's check it out. Seems like it's losing itself. St no, oh, we. Aww. It's so cold. Let's tell a joke. Told the bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. It's so cold. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. Wait, you didn't do that. Snowy. It's so cold. I can't mercy him yet. Expenditure changes more. Ha! Thank you. It's so cold. Till the bad part about snow, she's completely calmed down. You won! 
Oh wow, so satisfying. That was such a satisfying battle, you guys. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> oh, it's lost key. Huh. Okay, so that very creepy figure. I like how I was saying there's a shadow here in the shape of a man, a tree. I think I was talking about smells or something too earlier. Very, very creepy. Alright, well, now you just gotta go left. Or right, I mean. Oh, that's weird. I, I'm not normally I'm not one of those people that like mistakes right with left and such. Alright. It's golden flowers. Golden flowers. Okay, those are all gonna say the same thing. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster can absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human can absorb a soul. So then what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number ten. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyways. The seeds just stick to you and they won't let go. Can't do anything with any- Oh, are these- I thought it was like glass panes and there's just like a walkway beyond the glass. But no, they're- It's a mirror. It's not on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you can read. Click. Blue key fits so perfectly into the slot. Oh, okay, that actually worked out pretty good then. I mean, I could have done this room last, originally. Wow. What are the chances? Not very high at all. Alright, you guys. Why'd you move? It's a regular suspicious bed now. No. I guess the dog- that, that was for the dog that we met, maybe? I don't know. So many spoops, you guys. Does, does this feel very DLC like? I don't know, man. Maybe it is DLC or something. We just came with the game because we got it at a point where it was already a thing. I have no idea. Laboratory! Alright. I'm assuming it seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems like this is probably leading up to Metaton's creation. Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. Sure is. And very well, I'll not be spoopy at all. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yeah, there's a heart on there. I'm sure it means nothing. It's gonna be fine. Hello, spoopies! Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They got kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smell the potato chips on you had you had it. Ah, oh, that's funny. Anyway, the power went out. And I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you're one step ahead of me. It's probably just a big inconvenience for you, but, but I appreciate that you came back came back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Mm. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the concentrations of determination. The bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Oh, changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there'll be times where I'll struggle. There'll be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to back fall back on, it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. Time for everyone to go home. Okay. Um. 
Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of the garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew, that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appreciate... It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will of the Ah! So it's Flowey. Turn number 18. Flower's gone. Hmm! <gasps> that scared me. Also, I just heard a no noise and I'm in the basement alone. It's very. It's, it makes things extra spoopy. It's a voice you have never heard before. Chris. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Chris, see you soon. What is this? What is this? What even? At first I thought it maybe it was Toriel, but I don't know. What's going on now? The door is jammed shut with vines. Okay, it's flowery again. Wonderful. What is this? That was where the safe spot was. What do we do now? Let me guess. It can't go down here. Oh, we can. Wait, what? Oh, I see. It just leads over here. Do we go this way, I guess? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Would anything I'd change if I went through it normally? Well, there's a garden section, isn't there? You see anything else? Throne room. Okay, I thought maybe this would be where things would have changed. Oh, man. Or this place where Fowey would have appeared before. Do I gotta do this again? I don't wanna do this again. Maybe? I guess so. A strange light fills the room! I don't want to do this again. Was this what I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, you feel the determination. Human, I was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Wait, what is going on? Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your own journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burn you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I could not allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying? Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. Are you gonna turn out to be flowy? Is this a little trick? As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You, you pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, then taken six souls for, from the humans came back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori. You're right. I'm a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Yeah, Asgore, a human! Nobody fights each other. We fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or or else I'll, I'll. Uh. Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friends? It's nice to meet you. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey. Nobody hurt each other. Uh, eh. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll I'll be forced to ask a dying for help. Hello. 
Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Ah, something sounds to be here. That voice! <gasps> this was the person knocking the- Oh my god! Hello, I think we may... Know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. So nice to finally meet you. Hey, he's blushing. Your brother has told me so much about you. Oh, owie. I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? <laughs> no, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with? Shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. And I, it's only right about the fish thing. S sometimes you just got to, uh, s stop going after the furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Analogy. Oh my god, oh my god, will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Elfies? Hmm, uh, Elfies? Eh, no. He's right. Let's do it! Eh, well, uh, I, I guess if you want to, then... Don't know anything back. Oh my god, <laughs> look at her lips! <laughs> but wait! In front of the human? Uh, right, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Hee <gasps> Oh, I was gonna say, where'd sounds go? My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me of, reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how'd you know to call everybody? <laughs> Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Everything was so happy. Are you? Come on. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend souls are gonna be mine too! <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? How am I still doing this? Don't you, don't you get it? This is all just a game! If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play any with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. Look at Sans, he looks creepy, man. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied, but that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. What do I do? What do I do? Even if it means killing you one million times. I can't do a dang thing. He can't do it, can he? He can't do it. He's gonna stop. He loves me now. I, I saved him. Who? <coughs> what? Do not be afraid, my child. <coughs> no matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Ah! Th that's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do. Believe in you! <coughs> hey, human! If you got past me, you can do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. 
I'm so happy. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, but somehow, I know you can do it. <laughs> Human for the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. La la la, we're here for you. Come on, you got this. You can do it. You gotta win, ribbits. Uh, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. Are all idiots? I can't believe you are all so stupid. All of your souls are mine! Oh no. What even is going on?